So Evil Dead Rise is finally in theaters and easily was one of my most anticipated films of the year. Is it any good though? Stick around to find out. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about the fifth installment into the Evil Dead franchise, Evil Dead Rise. Written and directed by Lee Cronin and starring people like Alyssa Sutherland, Lily Sullivan, Morgan Davies, Nell Fisher, Gabrielle Eccles, and many more, Evil Dead Rise is, well, another Evil Dead movie. So I haven't covered any of the other Evil Dead films here on the channel thus far, but if you guys are a big fan of this channel, then you know that I love 80s horror. So those original Evil Dead films are definitely some of the biggest inspirations in my love for horror. I just haven't gotten around to covering them on the channel just yet, which is part of the exciting thing about doing YouTube is there's still so many other movies that I want to talk about that were a huge part of my life. And the Evil Dead films, without a doubt, are some of those movies, and I will get to them at some point. But I'll start this off by saying that I was really excited for this movie after I saw the trailer without a doubt I was super hyped for it and I found this to be something that I was looking forward to more and more as I saw the trailers as I saw the marketing and as we got closer to it and I'm happy to say this is easily currently my favorite horror film of 2023 I was in love with this film I had a great time from beginning to end where I feel like this movie is a movie that's gonna stick with me throughout the course of the year there's a lot of horror movies that come out in the genre as a longtime fan of horror we see see horror movies left and right low budget higher budget whatever the case may be it's one of the most saturated genres a lot of times because it is one of the cheapest genres to produce and I'm so happy to say though that this film like its predecessors was a great time the Evil Dead franchise is really gonna depend on your taste when it comes to whether or not you're going to enjoy it or not the original trilogy is definitely something that leans far more into horror comedies with big over-the-top ghost and bizarre moments and the heavy gore that are just very specific to those movies and obviously created Sam Raimi's career and all these years later we now have this one as well as the remake that came out over a decade ago just simply titled Evil Dead which was far more dark than the original trilogy and was far more gory and just was going for a little bit more of a grindhouse kind of feel but in a lot of ways definitely honored that original trilogy and here with Evil Dead Rise I feel like we have a great blend of both sides of Evil Dead where this film definitely has that darker visual tone and feel that that remake had as well as the big over-the-top gore as well as leaning into some of the comedy bits that we get from the original film with the big over-the-top bizarre ghost and the dialogue that's silly and ridiculous and weird and just definitely leans into a very zany kind of side to, to filmmaking and that's something I really love about the Evil Dead films overall I think that they just have been really fun to watch over the course of the years they're able to utilize big over-the-top practical effects and guts and gore that are all over the place have these insane demons with these crazy looks that are cartoony while also being creepy and grounded and of course like I said the remake took that into a bit of a more serious approach but here with Evil Dead Rise I feel like it has a great blend of what you would enjoy if you do enjoy the remake of Evil dead as well as the original trilogy that's a little bit more goofy overall though just as far as this movie on its own the base premise in case you've only seen the trailers and i won't get into any spoilers is that after an artifact is found an evil spirit has come awake and has um, now infected the mother of this family, played by Alyssa Sutherland, who gives a phenomenal performance in this film. When I originally saw the poster and I saw the trailer, I just already knew just the way that she looked in the film, the way she looked in the promotional material, that she was gonna be giving a really interesting performance here. And I'm happy to say, at least for me, that I think this is gonna be one of those horror performances that goes down in history as time goes on. Like I said before, there are so many films in the horror genre that come and go a lot of times being enjoyable one-time watches but a lot of times because of that being often forgettable 
And in the case of this film, there was just something about Alyssa Sutherland's performance as this evil entity once her character is possessed that just really stood out to me. I feel like when we look back at films of the 2020s, maybe 15, 20, 30 years from now, I think her face and her performance and her look and her feel in this film is going to be something that's remembered decades from now when it comes to horror of this decade. I don't know why, but something is telling me that that's going to be the case. I really enjoyed her performance here. She was creepy. She was eerie. She had a really ugly smile that was also just really engaging to look at and keep watching. I was really engrossed in her character and I never found myself bored any time that she was on screen. Lily Sullivan plays her sister in the film who is trying to protect her children from the mother now in this situation and I thought that she was really really great. I really enjoyed the performance between the two of them as she's you know this woman who doesn't have responsibilities. She's living a different life. She doesn't have kids and now she has to protect her nieces and her nephew from her sister who has now been possessed and kind of take on this motherly role and I just really thoroughly enjoyed her performance as the protector in this film i thought overall the entire cast was great the kids were great as well everybody was really engaging and there was never ever a moment where i felt the performances took me out of the film and like i mentioned before this movie like the other films is super gory this is a bloodbath and if you are a fan of practical effects and the practical effects that this franchise has shown then i think there's going to be a lot to be enjoyed here for you this film is a bloodbath there were so many effects that were just completely gruesome throughout the entirety of the film with majority of it being practical while there are some digital effects from time to time i really enjoy that most of this film was done practically was shot in camera and you can tell it makes the film really gruesome to watch there were some moments that got some audience reactions from how bloody this movie is at times and if you do have a weak stomach if that does not sound like it's like something you want to watch then I would definitely steer clear of this. But if you're a fan of horror, if you're a fan of the Evil Dead franchise, and you're looking for a bloody good time, I think this movie is definitely going to deliver. On top of being something that very much feels like it's from the same franchise as the Evil Dead franchise, and having all that blood and guts and gore, I just also really enjoyed the cinematography of this film, which definitely harkens back to a lot of the shaky cam POV tracking shots that Sam Raimi really established his career on when it came to those original Evil Dead films. So there was definitely a lot of honoring the legacy of this franchise through not only the blood the guts the gore and the demon and the dialogue but also through the big over-the-top moments of cinematography kind of warped visuals and things that give this film its own identity within this franchise overall evil dead rise for me was a great time that i highly recommend for longtime horror fans or fans of the evil dead franchise and i think a question a lot of people are going to have is with this being the fifth installment into the franchise can you watch it without having seen the other movies and i'm happy to say yeah i think this is a movie that allows new viewers to come in since it has been such a long time since even the last evil dead film this movie does not require you to have any prior knowledge you can come into this movie and fully understand what's going on however if you are a longtime fan of the series you can easily hop into this and see all the little easter eggs and hints and nods that have come from previous films and how they affect this film and a lot of ways for me it was more in the filmmaking side of things like i said there were things in the camera angles the cinematography overall and just the way that this film feels that is obviously trying to honor where this franchise has come from while also being its own thing and uh, without rambling much more i had a good time with the film i thought it was very well made very well acted it was engaging to watch from beginning to end and i think in a world where again we have oversaturated horror in the genre uh, i just really found myself having a good time here and i'm just happy to see that evil dead has consistently been a really solid franchise all the films in this franchise are very well made in their own way of course, where this falls for you on the ranking system is going to be dependent upon what you look for when it comes to an Evil Dead movie. But as far as me, I just had a good time at the movies. I love a good over-the-top horror movie that's got guts and gore and blood. And you kind of want to root for the characters. And there's a lot of crazy things going on. But then the demon's also entertaining. I think when it comes down to all the pieces of what I enjoy from a horror film, this movie gave it to me. And while there were a couple of things here and there would have changed for the most part, it was just nitpicks, to be honest. Honest, I do think that there's some underdeveloped ele elements and there's some elements that maybe could have been expanded upon a little bit more but as a simplistic
realistic horror film about a mother being possessed and her sister now having to protect her kids from her. Uh, I think that this film had a lot of fun with the idea while also diving deep into the lore that is Evil Dead. So I'll leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoy the movie if you guys check it out. And if you disagree with me or you agree with me, whatever the case may be, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about the movie. I also want to implore you to hit that like button as it does help the channel out and subscribe so you can never miss another video. A big thanks to you guys for watching and I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it. Bye bye